This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Aloha. Glenn Martinez here from Olamana Gardens and my co-host, Natalie Cash. Aloha. Yeah. She's our farm manager at Olamana Gardens, and she's also my, my co-pilot on the boat. <laughs> so uh, we joke that I wear many hats. So this is my favorite hat. This is my sailing hat. I keep a boat at Kaneo Yacht Club, a little 26-foot boat made in England. And uh, it's, a, it's a good, fun boat. And uh, we, we have a lot of fun on it going out to the sandbar and that. Yes. But many of you all see me in different hats. So this is my sailing hat. Then other times when I'm on the water, that would be my Coast Guard hat oh, with yes. the Coast Guard Auxiliary. Yes. So we go out with that. And uh, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we have a boat that we go out on at, uh, from Sand Island that I crew on occasionally. And uh, we go out and we pick up, we do uh, runs with the uh, C-130s. Mm -hmm. And they throw off all these life-saving equipment like life um, rafts and radios and flares and that. And we're the, we're the practice victims. They got to find us. We're up five miles outside of Waikiki. Oh. They pick us up. They go out there and they, they got to find us, drop flares on us and that. And that's good fun. But most of the time when you guys see me, I'm just a fur boy, you know, and that. <laughs> and sometimes I'm, I'm a beach boy, you know, yeah. I go surfing. That's my, that's my surfing dude hat. But more and more, I'm wearing my ham radio hat, okay? And uh, I used to have a hat like this, had fishing lures on it, yeah? <laughs> but now, now I get little emblems from all the different little that we belong to RACES. We did a show here, RACES, E-A-R-C, Emergency Amateur Radio. Mm -hmm. uh, we belong to Koaloa uh, Radios. And tomorrow's a big day for us. NBC is coming to Olamana Gardens. They, we got a phone call downstairs when we were coming up in the elevators, and they said they're on the island, but they sent out a three-person team. A lady named Sky is in charge of the videoing uh, feature stories for NBC. And she's coming out to interview Natalie and I tomorrow, and we're going to host them at Olamana Gardens. And we have a Windlink station there, which is one of those stations where people out on boats and that, if they have a computer on the boat and a ham radio, they can radio to my place, in in station, and our radio picks it up anywhere from Chile all the way up to Alaska, and anywhere from Australia all the way up to China. Anything in between going back and forth, we pick them up, and it's a free service we do as a community service, mm -hmm. and we relay it. So if they're out on a boat, they have no cell, there's no Wi-Fi out there, if they have a ham radio, they can sit on the little laptop computer, type their message, send it over the radio. We pick it up 24 hours. It's an automatic remote operation. It scans three different channels, and if it picks up any conversation, it picks it up and forwards it on to any address with an email or a call sign. Mm -hmm. So anyway, big time. I'm going to be a movie star tomorrow with NBC. Yeah. So we're going national. Awesome. That'll be good fun. But more important than that is we're going to Jamaica. Jamaica. Huh? Huh? How's this? Huh? <laughs> going man. to Jamaica. Yaman. 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 Yeah. So that, that'll be it. And, and, and I even, they, they, they gave me a driving hat. Yeah. So that's my beach hat. And this is my driving hat, huh? My Jamaica driving yeah, hat. Yeah. Huh? That's cool. But good fun. But we're looking forward to going to Jamaica. And that's what today's show is going to be about, is we're going to be down in Jamaica. And we're going to be building a system that we engineered here in Hawaii. Aquaponic system. Aquaponic system. And it's for an orphanage. It's one of, one yes. of our favorite things to do, right? And uh, So the fellow named Marvin got a, uh, a, a grant from USDA or uh, the government agency. And they funded him to build three greenhouses, yeah. commercial greenhouses, like 30 feet by 75 feet long, 100 mm -hmm. feet long. And, um, and to put aquaponics in it yep. specifically to grow food for orphanage. Yes. Right? Okay. Yeah. So we went there last year. And we yes. started with the preliminary setup. Mm -hmm. This year they're doing all the solar. I was supposed to fly out Monday, but they're going to delay me maybe a week. Yeah. Okay. Hang around for one more week, you good people. <laughs> and uh, But it's always good. I, I joke if, if, if I keep getting ready to go, by the time I go, I'll actually be ready. <laughs> you know, uh, all this last minute stuff. But in doing it, we engineered the entire system in our backyard and on our lawn. And it's a very unique system, state of the art in and aquaponics. And drawings, man. You and spent drawings. many hours. Oh, we did. Nat on Natalie drawings. printed out a book of the drawings, and these we sent them all to us. So they paid us to engineer it, and that. And this is a spraying system, okay? And what's unique about this one is the whole heart of this system is going to be these little nozzles here. They're called pigtails, yeah. okay? 
And with the pigtail nozzle here, it looks like you peeled an apple. And But yeah. if you look through it, there is no hole going through it. it. But the water comes up and it sprays out sideways. And it's made out of from my Coast Guard hat I was wearing. Well, on the Coast Guard ship, these are screwed up into the ceiling. Mm -hmm. And they are for fire prevention mm -hmm. or to put out a fire. And they turn on they a pump well. and they're pumping salt water up. Super high pressure, it hits this and it atomizes it. No clogs. No clogs. That's why the quarter inch spiral, because you're picking up all kind of garbage in the harbor. Who knows what's in that yeah. water, right? So you can't be doing a fine nozzle like we would do in this building. I look up here at the ceiling and I can see the fire sprinkler. Very fine, but that's drinking water coming yeah, out, potable, right? Clean, yeah, yeah. potable water. Mm -hmm. This pumps dirty water. We have been running these in aquaponic systems, what, three, four years now, huh? Yes. Okay. And so what I found out is if I put water coming in here at only two pounds per square inch, which means we have a header pipe over here about four feet tall, the water comes into here, and then right underneath it, I put one of my glenturies on, and it adds air, and the air and the water mix makes a fantastic spray. Mm -hmm. But anyway, we got two little short videos to show you. They'll help you explain what we're going to be doing in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. So we'll go ahead and roll one of those. And it has sound on it, so you'll be able to hear. And this is what I shot to show my customer mm -hmm. what we were preparing for him. Yep. Hi, this is Marvin in Jamaica. Well, I got your emails about the dimensions. I'm in full agreement. I've made you two models. One is 32 by 48, one is 24 by 48. So let's take a look at this one. We we'll start off, you're going to line your building up east to west. So the sunlight's going to come over it and go this way. All right? This will allow you to, I checked it, and in Jamaica, in the summertime, you're 65 degrees is your east. That's where the sun comes from. In the winter time, it's 114 degrees, okay? That's great. So if you line up, get a compass, line yourself up the east to west, that's true east and west, okay? You need to check the magnetic deviation for Jamaica to see what is off to correct for your compass. Otherwise, a lot, most of the uh, smartphones, it's a true north that you'll get out of. So you need a true east, okay? That being said, if you're 32 foot by 48, you can have 12 of these 4 by 8 easy to pivot ones. Now notice here that the drain pipe is here. It's a 4 inch drain pipe. And if you look underneath here, you see underground, we've already put these all in. Does that show underneath? So we got 4 inch pipe. It's a quarter inch slope drain. So this end is the high end. That's the low end. So, this, say if this end is one foot underground, that would be a foot and a half underground over there. That will give you a quarter inch per foot slope, okay? You might even want to consider going to half inch per foot. That means if you're 32 foot, you know, if you're going to go a half inch a foot, that would be a 16 inch deeper at this end than this end, okay? Now, following that one, if you're going to go 48 feet, that way, if you're 16 inches here, at the other end, you're going to be 24 inches deeper. That's a half inch per inch slope. That way you won't have any settlement in your drain pipes. Now the red straws. The red straws are to simulate the spray heads coming down from the top. Because we're in a greenhouse, so we've got a hoop, we've got a frame. We'd run a cable across here with the tension on it and you'd hook your PVC pipe to it, and this is what would be inside. This is your spray head, so it'd be spraying the water up. They'd be in here this way, okay? So there'd be one of these in each one of those, okay? Right here at the bottom of the red would be the arms coming out. So the water would come down, come over, and spray up, okay? And this is where the air gets added into it, okay? So the air hose would be coming right beside it, and it would just be tie wrapped to it, like your garden hose, and it would come down and go to each head. Pretty straightforward you know, application there, okay? So that way, you pivot on the bottom, and the top is pivoting. There's no restriction to you turning this. This would have a pipe union. That's where you can unscrew it, and that stays there, and this could be moved out if you ever needed to. 
Now, if we're 32 foot wide by 48, you can have two 600 gallon fish tanks, five foot in diameter. This is to scale. So this whole model is one inch per foot. So these would be five inches across here, okay? Five footers by four foot tall. This gives you room over here to have a working table going here. These would be roll around stainless steel racks. It'd be near on six foot tall here. Two of them here, right? Now, if you're 32 foot wide, you're going to have four. But let's say you're only going to go with the 24 foot model. That being it, we lose this prep table. We would lose one row of these. And then we would take off six feet. So I'm going to show that by the brown part is gone. So everything on this side is gone. So you'd have a three foot aisle way and then bingo, this would be it, okay? All the plumbing stays the same, no matter which building design you go with. So that way you could be 32, 48, whatever. All you do is extend those pipes coming out that way that we have here. When I say those pipes, that's the pipes here, the drain pipes. They just extend out, pretty straightforward. Let me also comment at this time that the end of this over here, you would put a normal sewage clean out so a plumber type could come here and run a cable or a rod through. So pretty straightforward. Um, east this side, your west this side. So you can come out, if you're gonna do 24 foot buildings, instead of having three 32s, you'd have four 24s. So pretty much you can work it out any way you want to, you know, for doing it. What I like about doing this configuration, I got the plants at one end, I got my fish here. If I was going to do another one of these, I would take this model, the floor plant, flip it over, and the next fish tanks would be right next to these fish tanks, right? If I was going to go widthwise, I'd take this plant and I'd flip it over this way. And the next three fish tanks would be here. And if I wanted to go over it, flip that same floor plan. So use the same floor plan. The beauty of it is you can keep your centralized area open. Okay? So six one or the other. The other alternative is if you're going to have the open area, if you're doing the 32 foot model here, this could be an open footprint and you could flip and go the other way. So either way, don't hesitate, just flip your plan over and do the opposite. So anyway, I hope that clarifies a few things for you. We'll stay in touch. And we'll keep working on it for you. So now you see what I did in arts and crafts class, right? Huh? <laughs> How to make things. It was kind of funny. We were looking for computer modeling, trying to model that. Yeah. And after spending about a week and going crazy doing that, I jumped up, went down to Enchanted Lake's Ben Franklin ben store, Franklin. Yes. and Arts the girls and there helped me out, huh? <laughs> he did. And uh, Natalie found little fish stickers to put on the <laughs> fish tanks and that. But sometimes it helps to have a 3D model. Yeah, everybody talks about having 3D modeling, you know, on the computer aided design in that. And well, most of my beautiful. work is 2D. You know, it's just flat stuff. You know, when we do here, when we do all the drawing. But all of this has been done out. We went to Jamaica last year. They bought all the material. Everything is stacked up. They had a little issues with, uh, they had to uh, take down a greenhouse and move it to a new piece of property, put it up. And this week, they're putting the solar up. Yes. Of course, it rained and stormed and everything. Yeah. And apparently, that storm front up on the east coast of uh, the mainland America, oh, Florida. Uh, and, and, and it pushed, it snowed in Florida. And can you believe it? Jamaica's cold. I said, I want to go. I want to go. I've never <laughs> seen Jamaica cold, you know? Jamaica's a lot like uh, Philippines. They have two seasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hot and hotter. hotter. That's it, yeah. <laughs> so we were kind of looking forward to that. But uh, they are going to postpone us, it looks like, for a week until they got to get dried out and finish the solar because I'll need the electricity to run yeah. uh, to run our system in that. We have one more little short clip we'd like to show you, and I believe this one is where we actually sat it up and ran it in the backyard. The sprayers. The sprayers, yeah. To That's these sure little pigtail nozzles. Would right. be able to... Okay, we'll go ahead and run that. Okay, here we are on a Thursday afternoon, just about lunchtime. And what we're coming up with 
is we're running about 18 to 20 inches. See the water in the clear pipe? And uh, that's being fed by this three inch pipe over here. We have water coming in, we've dialed it down. It filled up that five gallon bucket in one minute and 15 seconds. So you take that one and this is what you get. A nice light spray and that coming down. Hard to see the mist this time of day. Not seeing a lot of it though. But we got it tuned down and all eight have been made identical to the one that was doing the misting yesterday. But what happens is, if you have one that's restricted and the other seven were free floating, the one might have a totally different. Now you got all eight are exactly the same. So we're still chasing uh, getting that smoke misting coming back up. It'll be interesting to see what we can do to get that. But we have all eight of these identical, five gallons in one minute and 15 seconds. And oh, you gotta be wondering about the air. If we come over here, I'm running the air right now. Uh-oh, oopsie, knock that off. Put that back on. Come over here, I'm running about here. Now I'm gonna bleed it down to one PSI. This is with it wide open now. I'm bleeding off to the sky. And you see at the one PSI, I'm still doing just fine. I'm getting above the board, okay? Okay. So I get my six foot, and you see I'm getting my width. You see how far out she's coming. So the base is gonna be done really good, no problem there. So this about wraps it up for our trials. What we wanted to do is get a lighter spray, and we cut the water volume almost in half by this new version here, okay? So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you see the, the sideways there coming out. And you see up above. Okie dokie. Well, here's Glenn. Here's smiling. There you go. You got to see my little pigtails in action. You see that spraying thing? Well, we got a little more for you. We've got some pictures right after the break. So stay with us. Thank you. This is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. It sounds like scuba divers are the poor man's astronaut. At Dive Heart, we believe that to be true. We say forget the moon. Dive Heart can help children, adults, and veterans of all abilities escape gravity right here on Earth. Search DiveHeart.org and imagine the possibilities in your life. They said I could play, so any chance to play at all. You know, that's my life. I love music. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Aloha. My name is Mark Schwab. I am the host of Think Tech Hawaii's Law Across the Sea. Law Across the Sea comes on every other Monday at 11 a.m. Please join us. I like to bring in guests that talk about all types of things that come across the sea to Hawaii. Not just law, love, people, ideas, history. Please join us for Law Across the Sea. All right, well, we're back. Okay, okay. So all of, it's all about the little pigtail. It, that has been the backbone of so much of what we're doing. Yes. And so what we'd like to do is just show you some pictures that Natalie's put together to give you a little feeling for what's involved yes. in this system. Okay, okay. And so we'll pull them up there and see what we have for you to share. This is show and tell time. Now this is showing up here as a drawing. And this shows that this is what we call a glenturi or a turbo blaster. The air goes into the red part there and it goes down in the purple, goes across, and then the blue right up the center, that's where the water's coming up. So you see there the green, the air is all around it. So when the water goes up, the air and the water mixes and the pigtail's about six inches above it. So air and water is hitting my pigtail and she sprays. So this is his gutter. Notice that the unique thing here is the open ridge vent at the top, okay? And you see it has a uh, corrugated plastic right underneath it. It's about uh, 30 inches wide. And what that does is it lets all the hot air out, but the rain can't get in. That's the big That's thing. The so we went down there, they got all three greenhouses up and ready for us. And that, so it's really nice. And then the sides roll up. So these, the purple there is everything that's underground. That's a three inch buried drain line. What's really neat is we run a little ditch witch. We put in the, uh, the ditch in that. 
throw the purple pipe in there. It's actually white pipe. It's just purple here for illustration. And it sticks up and it only, it's just flush with the ground, okay? And it's slope draining. The long pieces slope and drain it all back down to the fish tank. So there, the green are the spray beds. And the spray beds are, we spray the water up with the nozzles in them, all right? These are four foot wide and 32 foot long beds in here. And they have like eight of them. And what it'll do, it'll spray it up, fall down, and then drain back to the fish tanks you see there at the bottom. And one of my air lifts picks up. Now, all the holes there, there's actually a neat pattern, a neater pattern than that. That's just a little illustration. But the holes are like four inches on center, six inches on center. It depends on what you're, you're growing, right? And so it, it'll be four foot high or six foot high. Yeah. And the sprayers can reach up. So here it goes to show you. The secret is that tall blue piece there on the right, you see there, where it says 2 PSI, valve, 4 PSI, 6 PSI. Well, every two feet higher I go, I get one PSI higher, okay? And so I can dial in what pressure. So this shows you how the plumbing is done, from the header tank to the fish tank to the swirl radio filter to the nitrification filter. So all that gets plumbed in. Everything is in PVC and fiberglass. This is our signature. This is a design we came up for the radio filter. And the idea there is if water goes less, slows down less than five feet per second, the solids will fall out. So you see the red, that's the fish tank water coming in. Okay, it comes in, comes out, and it swirls it around. But the water has to go down in the light purple one there. It has to go up and you see the arrows, it curves around and it goes down. So it's like a baffle where it goes up, goes over, up, go over, and down. And that, so here's your pigtail nozzles are inside there, and you see the pattern of holes. The whole thing would be holes all the way. And so we will have like 600 plants on each side, so 1,200 plants in, in a little 16-foot row. So you see how the pigtail, everything comes from the top. It comes from the top because, remember, it has to pivot to adjust to the sun yeah. from summertime to wintertime, right? So everything comes through a hole in the center and it's suspended off the ceiling because you got a nursery building there, so you're in great shape. So that's, uh, it's really neat there that you can do it, the design that we have of it. And by being able to have it in the center, we pivot it. Now it's kind of neat. When we're in the Philippines, we made them and they're four foot wide and some of them were eight and 12 foot long mm -hmm. and we pivoted them with the sun. And so I went at one end. <laughs> but when I did that, it had to swing four wide. or five feet yeah. to go. And what happened is it would go all over and then touch the wall and you couldn't get by. It closed off the walkway. And then Natalie and Liz, they got to thinking about it and they said, wow, if we pivot it in the center, it'd be only a two foot movement. So there you see four foot by 32 foot A-frame, six foot high. That holds something, I think it was uh, uh, 3,000 plants on each side or 6,000 plants per row. And there you see how one feed there goes and feeds them all from the top, eight of them in a row, and the red underneath is the drainage, taking it out. And you see the little A-frame arrow drip liner? And that is just a little fiberglass tray with two inch lips on it. So the water just sprays up, falls down in the drip pan, mm -hmm. then it goes over to the three inch drain and out she goes out this mm -hmm. side, okay? And so this shows how we stack up the different cylinders, how you have a tray and you put a radial cylinder so you go from a two inch pipe coming in to 24 inches to 48 inches, and it really slows the water down and it settles out. So this is from a, looking from overhead and it's hanging down, it's suspended. So because you want to put the water in the top, you want to go underneath the bottom of the first one, then over the top of the next one, then underneath that one, then over the top. So it's constantly making U-turns. So. And very clean. Very clean. Oh, very clean it, water. It's amazing. It looks like drinking water when it comes out. And so it's, a, it's the fastest way to slow the water down. And it's kind of unique. When you go from a two inch pipe to a four inch pipe, it's eight times the amount of water. Well, it's also one eighth the speed. So it's great stuff. And uh, so you see there in the center is the incoming water. And then you go from a two inch pipe, you see you go to the 24. Now this one a little bit sideways there. You gotta use your imagination, turn it around. Sorry about that. But it would be going up. What you see on the left would be going up. There we go. And the air and the water mix. So you see it coming in, it mixes, and you see the blue and the white bubbles, that's the air going in, and then it will go up. So it's very simple to make. We brought some, we pre-made some, and then we can make some more there. 
The neat thing about a lot of our designs is we can use whatever the local materials are. Mm -hmm. It's once you understand the, the, the philosophy of it or the design, you can orientate it. So you see how it is there. We have two spray heads, two of these pigtail nozzles, in each four by eight foot section. Mm -hmm. If it's 32 foot long, I just have eight of them in a row, nothing moves. So this is going to be a test to see what, is it worth the doing the rotating one to get the even mm -hmm. sunlight, summer and winter? Or do you just, by not giving up the two foot break in between and having a solid row of 32 oh, yeah. foot, you grow yeah, more grow plants and it, and it all equals out, okay? And that, so here you see, the, they have the screens inside. This is where the water comes in from the top left. You see how it goes through the screen? It gets to one screen, then the next screen, then the next screen, and then it goes out the dirtiest water. The clean water will go down, and then it will, it will, it's their self-cleaning screens. And if the water's going down at an angle, it will push the stuff down to the gutter and move the trash waste. All the clean water goes right through. So these are different methods of how to clean your water. On this one, they're using like window screen, you buy six foot wide, and they have it on dowel rods. The red ones are dowel rods. So it goes down, goes over, goes up, goes down, and goes over. If you put the water over the top, it will go through. Down in the blue, that's your clean filtered water. Mm -hmm. And that goes to your spray nozzles, okay? Even though they can take a lot of dirt, if you can get it there, clean better. This is another view of it. Red coming in is a compressed air. It comes in, mixes with the water going up, and then you have an air and water mixture hitting the nozzle. Aerated. Yeah, oh, super aerated. Yeah, so the plant roots just love it. Now keep in mind, the end of the A-frame is closed off with plastic, mm -hmm. so it's 100% humidity inside mm -hmm. because it's, we spray 24 hours a day. Mm -hmm. Now the plants only grow in the daylight, but we need to keep the water oxygenated for the fish. And so we are not only yeah. are we watering the plant roots, now keep in mind, when you have an A-frame, and I'll use this for example, if this is the A-frame, all your plants are sticking in the side mm -hmm. here, right? Yeah. So all the plants are on the outside, the leaves, all the roots are on the inside, and your nozzle is right up in the center of it, right? And if the two ends are closed off, they will never dry out. Mm -hmm. Now, we, I said we run it 24 hours. The system operates 24 hours, but the sprayers, they run for three minutes. Then the next row of eight runs for three minutes. Then the next row goes for three minutes, three minutes. It comes back 12 minutes later and runs another three minutes. Well, it simply cannot dry out in there, okay? But can you imagine if you had a plant sitting on a shelf, and you walked by and you picked it up and you dipped it in the water and set it back up on the yeah. shelf? That plant would start looking forward to you coming in the room, wouldn't yeah. it? Huh? They would. If every time you walked by, you picked them up and do it. Well, they that's what we're doing. We're water, but they're not getting saturated, yeah. and they're super aerated. Yeah. And it's better growth yep. for yep. the plant. Yep. And the math of it is like this, folks. If you were to take something, let's say here, I'm going to take these two sheets just for illustration. And if this was four feet wide and eight feet long, mm -hmm. and if I had 300 plants planted in there, do you see that if you took this and you did this and you did this, and you had it eight feet long, you just doubled your production, yep. okay? And greenhouse space is expensive. Yes. Well, Natalie, we got about a minute to go or so. Anything you want to add in? Um, so Glenn is ready for Jamaica. Yeah, We're I got one waiting. foot on the airplane already, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I'm go I'll try, I'll try really hard to hold down the fort while you go. Yeah, so Natalie's <laughs> gonna stay back and she's gonna hold down the fort this time around. And because the last time we went, Natalie and I went to Jamaica, and we ended up being gone seven weeks. There's some six we weeks, sure seven did. weeks. So it happens sometimes. This time she's going to stay back and run the farm for us. Yeah. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed today's show. Please write in and let us know what you think. We'd like to know what you guys like and if you're getting something out of this. Yeah. And if it motivates you, always go to olamanagardens.com or you go up on YouTube and you look up Olamana Gardens. You go to Think Tech Hawaii. And look it up and search for my name or Olamana Gardens yeah. and see all the shows we've done. Most of them are on aquaponics. And if anybody's interested, we could also do sponsorship. We do sponsorship. Like so we're always looking for sponsors. Yeah. Hey, buy me a plane ticket. That'd be great, huh? <laughs> we go anywhere. Well, we thank you all so much for turning in to Think Tech Hawaii. We're looking forward to it. We're looking forward to our interview with NBC tomorrow morning. I won't get any sleep tonight now. I know. I'm going national. Well, thank you all so much for tuning in to Think Tech Hawaii, and please look at our other shows. Thank you very much.